okay so um we're still looking at okay let's look at the fact that um the barrister ipob lawyer barrister ijo for the legal counsel yes okay uh, he explained the way they were treated by dss when they wanted to visit when they wanted to visit or rather he wanted to visit the um leader of the epop that's mazinam dikano the fact that they were told to pull off their shoes and all of that what's your view as regards that treatment it's it's, a, it's very unfortunate that uh, with uh they were subjected to such a uh, inhuman treatment for crying loud they are exercising their legitimate duty uh, as a legal counsel to uh, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, in person of His Excellency, has been addressed, Mazin Namdekanu. So I think uh, that shouldn't have happened in the first place. It's very unfortunate. Why should the government and the instruments of the state continue to violate, continue to subjugate the, 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 the supposed citizens? You see, in such a, a dehumanizing uh, level, treatment method on lawyers, not just ordinary lawyers for crying loud. Even though they are ordinary lawyers, doesn't they deserve some respect for crying loud? These are citizens, these are not criminals. Why should they be subjected to such inhuman dehumanizing uh, uh, treatment? It's very unfortunate. All in the name of, of course, intimidating them. You see, and frustrating their efforts, or trying to, of course, uh, subjugate them or make them give up whatever position they may be holding or they may have in respect to, in defense of their own clients. For crying loud, they, their action was backed up by the courts. The court gave them that warrant or that uh, opportunity or how whatever the legal term used to be able to assess their client. So why should they be treated as if uh, they are hoodlums? These are responsible gentlemen and uh, learned fellows. It's very unfortunate. So that is why what we are saying in this system it's a system that has no respect for the fundamental rights of the people. The right to association and fair hearing. You see, how do you expect, of course, Mazen Nandikano to get justice if his legal counsels could be subjected to such a psychological and mental torture? It's very unfortunate. Then what happens to Nandikano who is under the, the detention, under the dungeon of uh, the DSS. You see, the un unimaginable is really happening. But that notwithstanding, of course, people, they have the right to fair hearing, they have the right to justice, to uh, fairness or fair trial, irrespective of the intimidation coming from the, the states. It's very unfortunate. If such people could be subjected to such level of uh, assault, dehumanizing uh, treatment, then what happens to uh, this uh, average or common uh, man on the streets? You can understand that uh, there is no respect or regard for anyone. People who were opportune to be within the corridor of power uh, will parade themselves, of course, as demigods. As if, uh, uh, in fact, they, if they have opportunity, they will even overthrow the Elohim. Not okay. understanding that it's very unfortunate that life, power belongs to God. Okay, but then do you think there is, what do you think the, the DSS wanted to achieve by that action? Uh, whatever may be their motive for doing that, is that doesn't stop the people for demanding for justice. 
No, the county is not just uh, if, it's, it's not just uh, an ordinary person. It's a notable personality across the entire nation, international uh, figure. So you shouldn't be treated with such a level of uh, uh, disregard. So he has the right to demand for justice. And uh, he has a teeming population of followers at numbering over 150 million. So you can't just, I mean, jeopardize the interests of these uh, followers who are keeping watch, who are following up the development. Of course, who uh, most of them, their patients have been exhausted. In fact, they are waiting just for the least opportunity to to overturn the entire Nigeria states. If, uh, of course, the state will dare to play in that line. It's very unfortunate. So what I'm advocating, if the government should listen, is they should stop all these uh, uh, intimidations from different quarters. That will not help the issue. You are rather making the people to believe that truly you are what people claims have alleged you, that you are bent at intimidating or killing whoever that you think that is standing on your way. I believe we are in a democratic setting and the, the democratic norms should be adhered to or strictly implemented. There are rules of law and accused is presumed innocent until proven otherwise by a competent court of law. So why sh when the DSS become uh, the people that will pass the verdict, they are taking laws into their hands. You have no right to ask somebody to subject a uh, legal counsel for crying loud. His client had not been convicted of whatever allegation that had, was levied on against him or charges. So why should you treat even the legal counsels? Leonard Fellows in such manner is very, is, is part, is, it is a shame to the Nigerian state. It's, it's a very big shame. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Chigose, for that. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure.